Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to Diana Space. Let's do it. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make Rava Tava Appam. Have it as a breakfast, lunch or dinner or even as a tea time snack. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it at any time. This recipe does not require fermentation or resting time. Good news, right? And by the way, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon next to it so that you won't miss any video. Let's get started. First of all, into a blender. We're making this in a blender. So into a blender, add in rava or semolina or suji, one cup. Two tablespoons of maida or all-purpose flour. You can also use wheat flour. One by fourth cup of curd. So the measurements uh, of the ingredients would be listed in the description box, both in cups and in grams. So don't forget to check that out. And into the blender goes in a small piece of ginger, a green chilli and small onions 4 to 5. So my green chilli is a little bit too spicy that's why I've added only one. So if you want you can add in two. 1 by 4 teaspoon of cumin seeds, water required amount. So first you can add in a little bit and then you can add in more. And a little bit of salt like a required amount. Now we're going to give it all a good blend until we receive a smooth paste. Oh my god, so relaxing to see, right? But that's not a perfect consistency. We need it to be more, not too smooth and not too thick. This is a little bit too thick. And I've added in water. Then add in 1 by 4 teaspoon of sesame seeds. Optional but recommended. Okay, 2 pinch of baking soda. Give it all a good mix. And there you go guys, that is your perfect consistency. Not too thick, but not too smooth. Now we are gonna uh, make the appams and for that into the into a pan, uh, put a spoonful of your batter, close it uh, for a little time until the top part is dry, flip it and then close it and cook it for a little bit more time. And there you go guys, your rava tava appam is ready. Make more appams with the rest of the batter. And here I've had it with some coconut chutney. Not only because it's my favorite, but also this appam goes well with this chutney. I hope you subscribed to my channel and enjoyed this video. Please uh, do give this video a thumbs up. And we'll meet in our next video. Bye-bye.